Hey guys, what's up? I know I haven't posted a video in a minute for updates, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill you guys in on a little bit of changes that have been happening as we approach my one year on T. What's up guys? Uh, so it's my, actually my 11 month update. I know I haven't been keeping up too much on uh, these last few months, but really it's just because there hasn't been much to report. Um, so I just wanted to check in with you guys because my one year is next month and I'm so excited to be one year on T. Like that is huge. I can't even believe that I'm still, I'm like I'm on testosterone, let alone the fact that it's been a year. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on a little bit of updates that I've had since then. One main thing has been body hair. Of course, uh, if you watch my videos about my biggest fears, um, you know that I was terrified of becoming a gorilla. Now, although I have a lot more peach fuzz and hair, uh, you know, that I wanted, it really hasn't been too crazy. Uh, I have a little bit more um, kind of fuzz on my hands and my, my arm hair is a little bit thicker. Um, I've got, my leg hair has been a little bit longer. Um, I got a little bit of peach fuzz on my feet uh, and I've got a little bit of chest hair and stomach fuzz now but other than that it's really not like crazy huge like popping out of my shirt or anything like that like that's not that's kind of what I was worried about but that it hasn't really you know grown that way thank goodness for me besides body hair um, you know there's just like a few little things like um, I really feel like my body is like kind of getting settled in and like knowing like all the changes are starting to smooth out and even out my voice has kind of been a little less shaky, a little less cracky. My sex drive has kind of cooled down a little bit, which is nice. Um, of course, it's definitely still there, but it's not as crazy in your face, like all the time, 24 seven. So that's really nice. So my, you know, my body's getting used to it. My acne has actually settled down. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but I uh, kind of got a routine going um, that I can post in a later video because I've noticed my skin stays very oily. Um, There's just got like those natural oils. So between lotion and face scrubs and stuff like that, I've really been able to, you know, tone it down and maintain it, which is so nice because I hate having acne. That was my worst part of high school. Uh, so that was the worst part of redoing this whole puberty thing yeah so my doctor actually we you know talked about my acne and how it wasn't slowing down um, so he switched me to every 10 days on testosterone so I'm doing the one CC every 10 days um, it's definitely harder to keep up with because of the fact that it's not regular I don't I can't just like set a reminder in my phone for every single you know week on Thursday or every week on Friday um, so it's a little bit harder to keep up with but other than that um, I've been able to maintain it pretty well. Um, I still don't give myself my shots. My girlfriend still gives me my shots, but that's okay. I prefer her doing it. I've actually been able to maintain my weight. I haven't been gaining weight on such a quick pace. Uh, so it's kind of starting to even out at about 170-ish. So 175-ish probably. So um, I've, I've, it's nice to know that I'm not just going to keep going up and up and up. And I know that has a lot to do with my, you know, my diet, my level of exercise and things like that. Uh, but just maintaining the same that I've always had. I will be starting to train here pretty soon with my business partner. I'm gonna go to the fitness center probably about three times a week. Um, so I'm interested to see how that changes my, um, you know, my body structure and my, my muscle density and things like that. A few pretty big updates since I've checked in last. A few of you guys may, may have watched my Tribe Pride vlog. Um, that was huge in our area. That was the very first one that um, has come to the Kingsport Bristol, Johnson City area, um, and it was organized and just beautifully. It really came together, brought so many people, so many more people than I expected actually came out. So that was really, really cool. Um, I got to march in it and there were kids, you know, being like, hey mom, look, that's me. Like, it was such an amazing experience. Um, I can't wait till next year to be able to go through that again. That was actually my first Pride event that I've even ever been to. So to be able to march in it was really, really cool and to meet a lot of cool people. Um, and I really look forward to next year. And the second event I want to tell you guys about I'm actually just finished being interviewed for a um, documentary that uh, my friend that I met on Instagram is putting together. Um, she's hoping to put it on Netflix, um, but she has interviewed Buck Angel, Aiden Dowling, some of the big, big names in our community. Um, so I was really honored to be a part of that process, to be able to help her out, uh, for, for to help her educate people, to help her, you know, you know, kind of explain our process what we're going through and kind of be able to reach the world and on a global scale so that was really really cool and I look forward to seeing what that looks like um, 
it probably she said somewhere around the end of next year so it's a little bit it's a ways away but I'm just glad to be a part of the process so other than that that's about wraps up my updates for you other than that that about wrap date wrap dates other than that that about wraps up my updates for you guys um, like I said I just want to do a quick check-in let you guys know how I'm doing let you know how I'm feeling um, next month will be my one year so I've got some pretty cool projects in mind for that uh, so stay tuned uh, as always if you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything like that just drop them below uh, if you're new to the channel I created this channel to reach out to other transgender people and let them know that they're not alone and to educate them uh, along their journeys and to also educate the people that are not in our community to let them know what it's like in our day-to-day -day lives if you like what you see consider subscribing um, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day you're amazing you're valid you're loved uh, and I hope you guys just kill the day, and I will see you guys next week for another video. Peace out, y'all.